Hello. Well, the blouse that I made, I have a video just explaining from where I took this stitch from uh, Ruby Stedman's YouTube channel. So if you like, you can check her up. She she has uh, great stuff, uh, knitting, crocheting. Uh, but this blouse, it, it works with, uh, the stitch works with multiples of uh, 10 plus one more plus one more. So for mine, I chain 91 plus one more. Uh, the thing that you're gonna do, I have a video to explain how to do this stitch, the tutorial. So if you don't understand here, you can go to my uh, tutorial and you can see how to make this uh, this stitch. But for mine, I chain 91 plus one more. The second uh, stitch from the hook, I made a single crochet and I did all the, in all chains, I did a single crochet. Yeah. So now I'm at the end. And now I'm gonna chain uh, three. Okay, stay here. Okay. One, two, and three. You're gonna turn your work. And in the first stitch here, you're gonna do a double crochet. Chain two. One, two, and in the same space where you did this double crochet, you're gonna put two more double crochet. Okay, now you're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and now you're gonna skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth, you're gonna do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and again, you're gonna skip four stitches, and in the fifth, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth, you're gonna do two double crochet. Okay, chain two, one, two, and in the same space here, you're gonna do two more double crochets. Okay, chain three, one, two, three, and again, you're gonna skip four, and in the fifth, you're gonna do a single crochet. We skip four, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth, you're gonna do a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and again, you're gonna skip four, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth, you're gonna do two double crochet, chain two, and in the same space, two more double crochets. Chain two, and chain two more double crochet in the same, space where you did those two double crochet. Oops. Okay, and again, you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. You're gonna skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And in the fifth, you're gonna do a single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. And again, you're gonna skip four stitches. Oh. What did I do? Yeah. One, two, three, four. And in here, you're going to do two double crochet, chain two. And in the same space, you're going to do two more double crochet. Okay. Two double crochet, chain two. And two more double crochet. And you're going to repeat like this until the, the end of the, the row, and I will meet you there. So I did this and I will chain three, one, two, three, and I will skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth, I'm gonna do a single crochet. And again, I'm gonna chain three, one, two, three, and I'm gonna skip four, one, two, three, four, and in here I'm gonna do Two double crochet, chain two, and in the same space, I'm gonna do two more double crochet, chain two, and in the same space, you're gonna do two more double crochets. Okay, and again, I'm gonna I'm gonna chain three, one, two, three. I'm gonna skip four chains. Uh, four stitches and in the fifth I'm gonna do 
uh, a single crochet. So I'll meet you at the, at the end. Okay, so I reach almost the end. So I chain three and I will skip four. One, two, three, four. And in the fifth, we're gonna do the last uh, stitch. We're gonna do two double crochets. chain two and two more double crochets in the same space and from now on it's changing it's changing a little bit but uh, from now on you're gonna chain two only two you are always gonna finish chaining two turn your work and where you have this two double crochet chain two and two double crochet in the middle here you're gonna put three double crochets chain two two and in the same space where you did this three double crochet you're going to put three more double crochets and from on, now on you're going to put three double crochet chain two three double crochet yeah. Okay, and now you have here this three, the chain three that you did the first row. So you're gonna go inside here, inside here, and you're gonna do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and you're gonna move to the next space here, and you're gonna do a single crochet, yarn over, and you're gonna move to the next shell here, in between, you're gonna do three double crochet, one, two, three, chain two, one, two, and again you're gonna put in the same space three more double crochets. Okay, and again you're gonna move to this uh, space here, you're gonna do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and you're gonna move in this space here, you go inside here and you do a single crochet, yarn over and you move to the next shell and you're gonna put three double crochet, chain two, one, two, and in the same space here you're gonna do three more double crochet, Okay, you're gonna move again these two spaces here. The first space here, you're gonna do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and you're gonna move again here inside and you're gonna do a single crochet, yarn over, and again you're gonna move to the next shell in the in between there in that space. You're gonna do three double crochets. chain two, one, two, and again three more double crochet in the same space there. Okay, and again you're gonna move to this space, do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and again you're gonna move to this space here, you're gonna do a single crochet, yarn over and again you're gonna move to the the shell and you're gonna do three double crochets and I'm gonna meet you at the at the end yeah to show you and again you did three double crochet chain two and three more double crochet and so on until you reach the the end okay so I reached the, almost the end, so I will, in the last shell here, you're gonna do three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and three more double crochets 
in the same space. Okay, and now you you chained, you know, the last, uh, the first, uh, first row, you chain three, so one, two, three. So you're going to go right at the, the top here, this one, and you're going to do a double crochet. And you're always going to finish with a double crochet, chain two, yeah? So chain two, one, two, you turn your work. And again, you're going to go here between these three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet, and you're gonna do three double crochets. Okay, chain two, and three more double crochets in the same space. Okay. And now you're going to repeat the first uh, first row, let's say, yeah. So yarn over and you're going to, uh, now you're going to chain three, one, two, three, because you usually, now you're going to repeat the, the first row. You chain three, you skip four and so on, like one, two, three, four, and right here in the middle is the fifth, let's say, and you're going to go here and you're going to do a single crochet chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, and you're going to go inside the, the space here between those three double crochets, and you're going to do three double crochet, two, three, chain two, and in the same space, three more double crochet, Okay, chain three, one, two, three. And again, you're gonna go here, where is this triangle, this space here, and you're gonna do a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, and you're gonna go in this shell, and you're gonna do three double crochet. chain two, three more double crochet in the same space. I'm sorry, I have a cold, so my breathing is not so great. And again, you're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and you're gonna go here, where is this triangle here, this space, and you're gonna do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna go in this between the, the th those three double crochets and you're gonna do three double crochets. Chain two. And three more double crochet in the same space. Okay, then you're gonna chain three, one, two, three and again you're gonna go in this triangle here and you're gonna do a single crochet chain three one two three yarn over and you're gonna go in between here the space and you're gonna do three double crochet and so on until you finish the the row chain two and again three more double crochet in the same space. Okay, chain three. And you're going to do like this on and on and on until the end is repeating the, the chain three. You repeat the the first row. And that's all it is. It's very, it's a very easy stitch. But like I said uh, in the beginning, I have a tutorial how to do this stitch. So y if you want you can go and watch that. And so on until you, you reach the, the end. It's going to look like this. Okay, like this. Well, I start, uh, I'm working, so I started the, the work. I chain and I did a single crochet here 
and uh, the stitch with the crochet number four millimeter. Like uh, here I have uh, one panel already done. This is for my mother, so, well, she's not uh, near me, so I'm just trying to assume her, you know, the, the size. But I start with the, with the four millimeter crochet hook. I did uh, six uh, shells, like one, two, three, four, five, six, with a four millimeter, and then I switched to 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and I did uh, six more shells. Well, to do a shell, you need two rows, yeah? So I did only six, which means 12 rows I did, yeah? So I will see you next uh, next time when I, uh, you know, when we have to do this at the, the shoulders, yeah? Okay. Well, I finished the 23 rows of shells, and when I say uh, shell, meaning like this, uh, these two. In order to make a shell, you need to do two rows. So in total, I have 46 rows, and now I'm gonna start to to make the let's say for the the shoulders. But now depends if you want uh, to put two or three. For for my project, I put only three. So we're gonna chain like always two. Okay, we turn the work and we're gonna do the, the shells, three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets in the same space where we did those three double crochets. Okay, now you, we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and we're gonna move in that uh, triangle to do the single crochet, and again we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and we're gonna move to the next shell and we're gonna do three double crochets. chain two and three more double crochet in the same space okay so we did two two shells now we're gonna chain three one two three and we're gonna move to the triangle here and in this space we're gonna do a single crochet chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, and for me, for this project, <coughs> I will put only three, um, three shells, let's say, so I'm gonna do the last shell. I'm gonna put three double crochet, chain two, one, two, and three more double crochet in the same space. So now at the end, for me, just three, three shells, where you have here, before the row before, you had chain of three, you did a single crochet, and again, chain of uh, three. So I'm gonna go right here, so you have one, two, three, the three double crochet, and I'm gonna go here in this single crochet that I did, so I'm gonna do a double crochet right here, this one. Yeah. And like always, I'm gonna chain two, one, two, and I'm gonna turn my, uh, my work. And I'm gonna go in the first shell, and I'm gonna do three double crochet, chain two, one, two, and three more double crochet. Oops. 
okay and then you're gonna keep doing like this like you normally do the the pattern so you have here the chain of three single crochet and the chain of three and you're gonna go here in this space and you're gonna do a single crochet chain three it's not easy with this uh, okay and then you're gonna go in the this space here and you're gonna do a single crochet yarn over and you're gonna move to the stitch to the, the shell and you're gonna do on and on and on until you reach the end and at the end you have the two chains that you did at the end and you're gonna go in the second uh, chain here and you're gonna do a double crochet and you're gonna do on and on and on until how long you want you know the 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 strap or whatever you call this thing like uh, like here I did only one two three pattern of the shells and I uh, did only six rows yeah so you have one two three four five hmm? how many here from here one two three four five six yeah so you're gonna do like that and I'm gonna meet you when I have to show you here how to to do the the next uh, shoulder let's say okay so I finished the 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 for the shoulder the strap now in order to to do the the next uh, shoulder let's say for me I choose this to be the the front this is the back the way it looks so if uh, you want the same pattern the same look you're gonna have to attach here on the face of the you know on the front of the, the project if you go here and you attach here the the front is gonna be on the back and the back is gonna be on the front so you you're gonna have to to choose to well me for example I want to to do it from the front to attach the the yarn because well after experience I realized that I have to do that yeah I, I was telling you earlier it's not easy because this uh, look at this sometimes with the with the hook you might catch two strains or three and yeah it's not that easy well this is the way I do the knot so for my uh, my project I choose only three to do for the three shells so I'm gonna count here one two three so like before in this part here where is the single crochet I'm gonna attach the the yarn I'm gonna do a slip knot if it's gonna let me which no okay I'm gonna attach here I'm gonna do a slip knot and now I'm gonna do a double crochet well I like to to put a lot of yarn on my uh, my finger okay now we're gonna move to the shell and we're gonna do the the shell three double crochet yeah you see yeah I will pick few yarns few strings chain two and then three double crochet Okay, and now you're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and you're gonna go into this triangle here and gonna do a single crochet, chain three, and you move to the shell, and you're gonna do three double crochets, okay, chain two, and three more double crochets. Okay, chain three, one, two, three, and you're gonna go in this triangle here and you're gonna do a single crochet, chain three, and you're gonna move to the 
next shell. Chain two. Yeah, I can. I tried the, those styles that you put the the yarn like this or whatever. It's just I, it doesn't work for me. I try my best, but it doesn't work. Okay, and now you finish the the shell and yarn over, and you're gonna find uh, those two chains that you did at the end. This is the first one, and this is the second. And you're gonna go and you're gonna do a double crochet. And go in there. And like always, chain two. I always leave the the second chain. For example, I did the so the first chain and the second one a little bit loose. That when I return, it's easy for me to poke and not to struggle with it. Yarn over, and you're gonna go again into the shell and gonna do three double crochet, chain two, three more double crochet in the same space, and so on. And again, when you reach the the end of the row. You're gonna do the same. You're gonna find those two chains that you did at the end. In uh, you know, in our case, it's a double crochet. Okay, so you have this, and you're gonna do in the space here, do single crochet, chain three, and you're gonna go again here, single crochet, yarn over, and you go into the shell. And on and on. Where am I? Chain two, three more double crochet. I'm gonna do this row just to show you, you know, with that double crochet where to to poke to do that last double crochet. <coughs> Chain three. But you know, it's it's a very easy pattern to do this. It's for beginners, and it's not that complicated. Well, at least for me. You see how I I have to pick the yeah some uh, some yarn. Sometimes it's <coughs> because it opens. Chain two and three more double crochets. Okay, and now you you're at the end. You attached here, yeah. So you have in here. You're gonna you're gonna go here, and you're gonna poke into the top of that double crochet that you did when you attached, and so on. You're gonna chain two, and again, I'm gonna leave this loose a little bit, that when I return, it's easy for me to to get in. So again, you're gonna do the three double crochet. And so on. So at the end, you know, when you when you finish the the row, you're gonna have these two chains, first and second, and in the second you're gonna poke and gonna do a double crochet, and so on. So for me, like I said, I did six uh, six rows for the for this uh, shoulder. Let's say, yeah. So you have from here one, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. But you know, it's uh, it's easy to to count the. This is the like here is the twenty three rows that I finished, and then I attached, and I did the. You know, I continue with the with the sleeve, for example. You have one, one shell, second and the third. So you have two, four, six rows to do for this uh, for this project. If you choose, you can make it. For example, a little bit uh, not so you know wide, or you can do just one like uh, this pattern. This stitch I took from Ruby Stedman from her uh, YouTube channel, so you can go to her YouTube channel and see how she does her uh, blouse. From what I remember, she has only one of the the shell. It's like you know, it's very simple, it's very easy. <coughs> so you can uh, you can go to her channel and see how she. 
she does it. Well, the next step is to, to sew the, the material, the, the panels together. And I will see you then. Okay, so I finished the panels. I sewed them together and I didn't hide the, the tails because this is for my mother. And I left them the tails thinking that if it's too small or maybe too big on her, I will redo some, uh, somehow. But this is uh, L size. It's not an M size and this kind of stretches the, the material. Well, what I did, I uh, start from the bottom, from the bottom I start six uh, rows or, well, well, 12 rows with the four millimeter crochet hook and then I switched with the 3.5 millimeter for the next 12 rows just to give a little bit for the, the waist, just an idea, not too much. And then I uh, switched back after the 12 rows with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, I switched back to the four millimeter crochet hook and I finished the, the whole uh, project. Uh, well, I, you know, many, many tutorials, they, uh, they tell you in the beginning what you need, uh, whatever, but I'm assuming that all of you know exactly what you need. Well, you need a, you know, some crochet hook, you need a yarn and uh, of course you need um, some needles. I use the humongous one, this one. Boy, you can fit a truck through this thing. And you're gonna need uh, some uh, markers. I used only two markers for, uh, for example, I left for the arms opening here, I left uh, 21. Well, if it's needed, if it's too large, too big, whatever, I still have yarn so I can close uh, more. But since my mother, she's not, uh, you know, I'm in Asia and she's in Europe, I have no idea if she put some weight, if she lost some weight, uh, I don't know, we're going to see when I go to visit her. But yeah, you're going to need some, uh, some markers uh, like this, just to make sure that you uh, have the... You know, because I put them together, two panels, and I put the the thing, the markers, so I knew exactly both of them holding together. Yeah, but it's not uh, it's not that complicated. It's very very easy, very simple. Uh, the yarn that I use it's 100% acrylic, 40 grams one ball has. So I use for this project for the whole thing, let's say L size. I used 240 uh, grams and well it's a, it's a thick uh, thick yarn a little bit not so thin for I, I was thinking this to make for her in spring or autumn just to put a like a sweater like this not too thick and this on her just to keep her warm you know that kind of thing but yeah well I like how it, this came came out I was thinking to keep it for myself and when I go to visit her I will sit there and make for her but well she's gonna be upset if I do that. <laughs> I will never upset a Leo. But yeah this is it. It's not uh, this no matter what side you want the back or front you know when you put it on. Yeah and this is the the stitch. It's nice. I think it looks much nicer let's say when the yarn it's um, thin, not so thick, like this one. This is a little bit thick, yeah. But uh, yeah, this is the the project. It's not uh, you can, uh, for example, for you, you might uh, leave uh, 18 centimeters or 19. Depends how uh, thick it's your arm. You know, it might you might be skinnier or a little bit. You know, uh, well, I don't know. I'm I'm skinny enough so for me if I was to make this 18 centimeters will be more than enough opening but yeah this is it this is a very simple basic thing for example if you want to do it um, here you don't want straight you you want some opening for the arms like under under your arms I think you might have to to jump to to do the the project how many rows you want 
and then you cut the yarn and you attach the yarn somewhere it's like you're skipping one shell let's say and you attach somewhere in here between the shells with a double crochet and then you go to the shell and so on but I, I think at least one shell you have to jump if you want to have a little bit uh, you know, like the opening under your, your arms. But in this way, it's the simplest way, it's not, uh, doesn't require too much uh, knowledge about crocheting, all that kind of thing. Yeah, well, I hope you, you enjoy, I hope I explained uh, as best as I can. I was not, uh, you know, that uh, enthusiastic to, to do some tutorials, but some of you ask me to, to do tutorials, so oof, I don't know the terminology, sometimes you know I say single crochet instead of double crochet for example one of the sleeves when I show you the where to attach here uh, you know the next uh, here I put the first four double crochet so I had to go back undo and put the, the three double crochet not four <coughs> and yeah I know my nail just minutes before I start recording, my nail uh, broke, so I, I didn't have time. I, I kind of wasted some time the moment that I started to this project until the, this moment because I had a cold, so I had to wait until I'm not coughing every minute. That would be really annoying. But yeah, well, they're, they're gonna grow, they're just nails. But yeah, I hope you enjoy, and uh, if you have some questions, if you if I didn't explain too well, if you think that I, you know, you want more clarification, please do ask me. But in general, I will say go to Ruby Stedman, and uh, she will show you exactly how to do it. I choose to do three patterns of shells. Uh, Ruby Stedman has only one, I think, only one uh, for for the straps. So if you like that for summer, especially if the yarn is thick, as a thing, yeah, it's uh, it's perfect. Just go to to Ruby Stedman and you will uh, find. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy. Have a pleasant day. Bye.